I'd like to take a closer look at the chiller. All right, so here we go. This is the chiller, chiller number two. And as you can see, one of the line is insulated and the other set of line is uninsulated. So, uh, with the chiller, as I mentioned before, or I shall mention now, part is the evaporator, the chilled water. And you want that line to be insulated because you may have 40 degree water, 40, 45, something like that, going out. So the line is gonna sweat. So that goes up and goes out to your building that provides your chilled water or pool water to all your units in your building. Then you have another line as the chilled water comes back, another line that removes the heat, which is your condenser line. And there it goes, it's uninsulated. So there's two parts, like I mentioned, to the chiller, your evap section, and here you have your condenser section, which is the part that removes the heat from the chiller. Um, what you need for the chiller, of course, is pumps. You gotta pump that water around. So here is one of our chill water pump. Of course, like the evap section that's insulated, these are also insulated because that water is very cold. 40, 45 degrees or so, your chill water is going up. Now you might have it a little warmer, but generally that's where you need it to get um, a 20 degree or a 10 degree difference going across your coil to cool the space. Sometimes you want it a little lower. Um, here's our other pump. Now this pump is running, and you can see as you get a little closer, you see the sweat coming off of that. And you can feel it there. So that's the reason we, if our lines were not insulated, the entire line would be sweating. And the thing with sweating is that's heat transfer. So let's say you had 40 degrees water going out here. If your entire line was not insulated, you would have lost so much by the time it gets to the unit you'd have lost so much of the cooling. So, you have your chiller, and you have your chill water pumps, and another section of pumps is your condenser pump, because you need to get that condenser water out to the tower, so it can remove the heat, and then continue with your cycle.